City the year of 2003. A college student is shot in Central Park, and the investigation that follows opens up a world of mysteries and secrets with twists and turns around every corner. Take a look. But the really interesting part of the night was later when I had found a girl in the park who had been shot in the head. I was then taken into custody as a suspect in her attempted murder. Stop. You're serious? Mm -hmm. How could the cops possibly think that you shot someone? Mm -hmm. Oh, and star of City on Fire, Nico Tortorella, joins us now. Welcome back. Good to see <laughs> Good you. Good to be here. Thanks. Let me tell you, this mm. show is, it, I mean, it is intense. It hooks you right from the start. It's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. Talk to yeah. us about just the story and your character, William, and how William fits into this whole story. Yeah, for sure. Well, we're set uh, early 2000s, 2003, post 11 New York City. Uh, the show starts with this shooting in Central Park. Uh, Sam gets shot, and it's kind of this classic who done it. Yeah. Uh, it focuses on a bunch of different people throughout the city. Uh, my character being William Hamilton Sweeney the yeah. Third. Um, you, you know, know he comes from money. Exactly. When he has that many names. When he's got that three at the <laughs> end. Yeah, yeah, he's your classic tortured artist. He uh, he comes from this like royal family in the city, so to speak, and kind of left it all behind and trying to uh, make a life for himself while self sabotaging. Uh, totally. All, throughout all of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and William and Mercer become kind of a major like focal point of this story yeah. as it progresses. So what did you enjoy most about exploring that relationship? Yeah, it's a really special relationship. Um, the, the actor who plays uh, Mercer, Xavier Clyde, this was his first big job. He's so, so good, He's too. so good and so natural and like brings so much of himself to the character. And, uh, you know, we're talking uh, a queer relationship in the early 2000s, a biracial queer relationship. There was a lot of conversations about what the impact was in the early yeah, 2000s, yeah. what the impact is now, and, you know, how we can uh, bring truth to that relationship. Yeah, and music is a big part of this show, yeah. too. Like, what early 2000s music, were you a fan of early 2000s music? Like, who are you yeah. favorite, your influences I then? mean, there was, like, the New York classics, the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs, the Strokes, yeah. LCD Sound System. I was a big Dashboard Strokes, fan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, made, but like all of that post 9-11 music, it really, there's there's so much happening in the sound sonically. Yes. And we're experiencing some of that with music now, post-pandemic music. music culture that was going on in New York totally. at that time. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can tell by your interviews and, and the things that you post on social media that you really care about this project, mm. this character. What is it about this project that's so different from yours? Because we talked about this before we even started this interview, how this is a nice change of pace for you. Yeah, I get to actually explore this character in a way that um, I wasn't able to in the past. Yeah. There's, there's so much depth to this character. The music plays such a huge part for me. I mean, the majority of the time that I wasn't on set, I was in a music studio recording. Oh, amazing. We recorded an album for this show that just dropped awesome. on Apple Music, too. Yeah, and I just, it's like I heard music for the first time all over again. Yeah. Um, full disclosure, I've been in the studio since. I'm making my own music right amazing. now. It should come out this year. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to come back when that comes out. Totally. Uh, but you also have a movie that premiered at the Seattle International Film Festival. That's right, yeah, The Mattachine Family. Yeah, The Mattachine Family. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, it's a really special project. Um, it focuses on this couple uh, who is uh, trying to have a kid, a queer couple, uh, and it's it centers all of these queer people who are trying to create life in a time when life is the most fragile. Yeah. Really special project. Also to shoot while we were trying to have a kid. Yeah. We were yeah. dealing with infertility and this the story focuses on infertility. It really was this like life imitating art moment that was really beautiful. But it ends up really nicely for you. It does. You have a baby girl. We do. How there is she fatherhood? Is. Honestly, oh my god. There's so many cute pictures of the two of you on your Instagram account. I mean, she is she's every Everything. Everyone says, you know, like, you don't know until you know. Right. You can't put it to words. You can't. And it just, like, overnight, I feel like I, I, I just downloaded all of this ancestral, like, parenting wisdom. Yeah. And, uh... Everything is different. I'm a different person yes. now because of it. The world is a different place. The work, the art, like yeah. it all has a different purpose. Different at this meanings. Point. Yeah, yeah, totally. I completely understand that. It's and so the special. name, where's the name come from? Kilmer, Kilmer Dove? Kilmer Dove. Strong name. Uh, it's a yeah. strong name. We've always talked about using our mom's maiden name.
names as first names. Oh, and Kilmer that. is Bethany's mom's maiden name. I love that. Uh, yeah, and Dove, uh, Tortorella actually means turtle dove in Italian. Oh, so that. we're just throwing all the doves in for some, uh, you know, some luck. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, congrats to you on Thanks. all of those I things. It. Yeah. <laughs> and you can catch City on Fire streaming now on Apple TV Plus. Nico, thank you. Good to see Good you. Good to see you too, Sarah.